Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. We are here at Cupfan's iron farm that he recently built. This thing is amazing. Uh, he has said that whoever on the server wants to use it, we're welcome to come over here and AFK. So I've been here for a couple of hours. Um, this is a resettable iron farm. So essentially you press a button and it resets the whole farm. And then it takes about an hour and a half from the time you press the button to get up to maximum capacity. So it's been running at max at max capacity for maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour or something like that. This thing produces an insane, an insane amount of iron. So I should be set. I should be set on iron for... Oh, man. If, now, the problem is I don't know if I can actually get my elytra to, uh, to activate, which is a little bit of a problem. Can I... Oh, oh, I'm in the lava. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, no! Uh. All right, guys, I am back. Um, I think I have everything I need for the most part to recover from that. I lost all of my stuff. It's all gone. Um, luckily, Cubfan does have a mending villager that he said we are welcome to use. So Cubfan saving the day. Um, I'm going to have to get a couple mending books. But I did have another Elytra that was already enchanted. Um, I've got... Uh, basically everything I need with the exception of one, I think I'm one mending book short. Uh, maybe two. Nope, just one. So I need to run to the Ender Ender. Uh, should probably take some lapis with me just in case I can save myself a little bit of trouble. But yeah, that was, uh, that was quite unfortunate. All right, guys, I am back. We're out here at Cub's Island, and I've got myself three mending books thanks to Cub and his amazing, super awesome villager breeder system that he said I could use and gave me instructions for. So basically, we've got how many? You know what? Let's just do let's do a little bit of trading together. Not a lot, but just enough that I can get myself one more mending book to take back home with me. Um, but basically, he's got this farmer guy over here. And this farmer takes potatoes and actually has a very good potato trade and also a pretty good carrot trade as well there we go we'll just get as many of those as we can and then um is it one of these shulker it's the one in my inventory of course it's the one in my inventory and he's got a mending villager right here trading mending books for 30 emeralds. So there we go. That is uh, the new easiest way to get mending villagers. I think maybe at some point I might come over here and um, and make use of this a little bit more heavily and, you know, pick up some, ending, <laughs> some extra mending books for Cub to hold on to himself since he was kind enough to let me use his system. But... Oh, can I not fly? Pretty, pretty please. Can I fly? Look at, look at the server lag. That's not a mending book, by the way. That's a looting two book that I accidentally purchased. I am wearing my elytra. Look, look. Fly. <clears throat> server lag, please. Anyway, I'm going to make my way out to the iron farm, which is off in that direction. I was about to go the wrong way, but it's off in this direction. And then once I, I'm going to pick up the iron that I uh, AFK'd for. Really, server? Come on now. I'm going to pick up the iron that I AFK'd for and uh, bring it back to my base and I'll meet you back there. All right, guys, I am back. I've got all my tools good to go. They're all back to my mending tools, everything I need. The people's helm, the people's leggings, the people's boots, the people's blade, the people's battle axe. Everything's the way I had it before, although they are replacement tools because I died like an idiot. Um, but that's okay. You know, we it was a relatively quick recovery thanks to the enchanted books that I had lying around and Cub Fan and his mending villager. So it could have been a lot worse. Uh, so I'm not too salty about it. But we are here in a room that I have dug out underneath 
my keep. So right now, right now we have uh, our keep kind of laid out, right? We've got, um, this is our main room. Down here is our, our AFK fishing farm. This is all going to go away, in fact. All of this stuff that's, oh, I see you there. Have a little bit of a people's blade, you. Uh, anyway, so we've got this, like, temporary little starter base kind of hidey hole that we set up. Uh, and I think pretty much all of this is going to ultimately go away. Not quite yet, but as time goes on. So I've dug out a room, and that room is going to be for our storage room. Something that we have been very, very badly in need of. Because uh, this whole sort of storage solution that we have going here it, this is this is not this ain't doing it my friends this is not doing it uh in fact it is pretty terrible um and it's driving me crazy like it's relatively organized but then you look in these chests and i just i, I cringe i cringe a little bit so we're going to deal with that today uh, I don't know that we're going to finish this project today because it's a very big one. It's a very, very big project. There's a lot of... Uh, I need more torches than that. Let's just grab you. Here we go. Let's just go... Like... So, there we go. Stack of torches. Good. And then I also need some stone... Brick. Because what I want to do first... Before we get too far into this, is I want to lay things out. I want to do some planning. That's going to be very important uh, for any good storage room. Any good storage room is going to need uh, some serious planning and consideration. And the way that you get to this storage room, it's kind of out of the way. It's sort of a maze to get to it, which will hopefully keep the NHO out of my storage. Hopefully they won't be able to find it. But you go through here, you go down this little staircase, and eventually... It comes out right here, okay? Now, what we're going to have, uh, in fact, we can do a little bit of this right now before... I, I don't want to get too far into designing and things just yet, but what I'm planning is right here we'll have like a little thing, right? Uh, let's put you there instead. And then, uh, tell me I have a crafting bench. I do not. That's all right. We'll put you here. Let's just make a couple of stone brick stairs, and we'll have a little staircase right here that leads down. So you come through this doorway, and you go down a little bit more, okay? And then right here, we'll have another little kind of landing platform, right? Like a little, a little landing, uh, where you come down, and then you can go through this door, and this will open up into the main storage room. And then over here, this little room is going to be basically like um like a storage room for special super rare items such as uh this is probably where i'll keep my ender chest uh i'll maybe have an armor stand in here with an extra set of armor uh maybe my elite tools will be in here etc etc right things that uh, i'm not gonna have a lot of that are still gonna require storage but doesn't necessarily need to be in our big main storage room over here. And yes, I know this is a giant box right now. Don't worry, it will look better. Have faith, my friends, have faith. It's okay. So, let's start thinking about this a little bit. Uh, also, directly through this wall is our bed and our nether wart farm over there. So, I don't want to push this wall at the moment. Maybe we'll get to that point eventually, where we want to expand this out further that way, maybe open up, do some catacombs or something. But for now, I just want to focus on the storage, okay? And what I'm thinking, there are several items in Minecraft that are divided up into uh, fours and sixes, right? 16 types or six types. So, like, if we look at, for example, wood, right? We've got basically four types of wood, or six types of wood, right? So maybe up here, we would have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we would bring this down. And this would essentially be all of our wood, right? 
just as a thought, uh, and I'm not dead set on laying this out in this may. This may need to even be bigger. We need. We may need more space than this, but we'll have to see. So I'm thinking. Let's see. I know I definitely want it to open up when you come out. I want chests stacked, I think, four high, because any higher than that, it starts to get a little ridiculous, and then I opened up the ceiling a bit more to give us some space up there uh, to make sure we have room. But let's think about this. We have probably logs, blocks. Hmm, maybe we even bring this over one more. And then that gives us room for saplings. Logs, blocks, stairs, slabs. Stairs and slabs, hmm. Yeah, maybe we go like that. That might be good, that'd be seven, okay? And then over here, uh, let's see, this is what, three, one, two, three. So we would bring that one over as well. Possibly. Maybe something like that, and then we'd have the chests kind of recessed by one block. We could probably bring this forward even, uh, one block. And that would make it a little bit tighter, and I think I would like that better. So we'd have like a, basically like a five wide gap in the middle. Or the other option, maybe we could have a central pathway and then you go down some stairs to get to all the chests. That could actually be really cool. Hmm. I might like that. That might be really cool. And that would also give some, some height variation to the room as well. Huh. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that and see what we think. All right, guys, I am back and I'm liking this idea. I'm really liking this idea. So let's try a little something. Um, I probably don't need that many stairs. Let's just make 42. I'm not sure how long this room is, but what I'm thinking we could maybe do is have a staircase here, right? We go three wide in the middle and then a staircase, which basically gives us a four wide surface area because this is half a block and this is half a block, right? So it still feels wide enough, which I think is good. And then our chests can go here. And that just gives us a little bit of height variation. I like this. I'm, I'm thinking this is good. And we can still bring it up to here so that I can access all the things relatively easily, right? So let's just bring that across, bring that down. Just kind of feel that out. How, what do we think? That gives us access to all the stuff up here, all access to all the stuff here. Chest will be recessed by one, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how much space do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, times 2 is 34, times 4 would be 136, if my math is correct, 136 double chests, <laughs> something like that. Oh no, times 5, not times 4. So, okay, so it's a lot of chests. Now, we don't want to just have one big wall of chests, though, because that's not going to look good, okay? We need to break this up a bit. So what I'm thinking is we're going to divide it up into fours, maybe? Or maybe we'll do fours in some spots. Four, because there are several items in Minecraft that, that, lend, that lend themselves very well to be being divided up in that way, right? Like, um, wool, glass, basically any of the items that can be dyed, uh, I think lend themselves very well to columns of four. Although, hmm. Maybe we, you know, this'll work. This is fine. This is good. 
I like it. We're we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> we're gonna roll with it and see what we think. Um, let's bring that down, and then maybe what we'll do is up here. Instead, we'll actually maybe even bring that up one more. So it would go at, up at this level to give us a little bit more height up there. And I should still be able to access those chests relatively easily, and we can put some more stuff up there. So we'll basically have this giant thing of chests, right? And maybe we bring a central pillar down? Um, do, do, come on, do, do, oh, place where I want you to go, there, and, oh man, that one's gotta go, there, and then a central pillar down here, how does that look, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that central pillar. But we do definitely need, like, all the chests, for sure. That's going to be really important. Let me do some more work on this, and I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I am back. Check it out. I think I've got a design that I like. Now, it looks super derpy because these pillars aren't down. Uh, that's so that I can get in here and get the chests in where I want them. I just realized that these guys don't actually need to be taken out. But we're going to have these kind of pillars uh, and then archways, right? That kind of come up and support the area around. And the idea is that the people of the keep... Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. Get out. Oh, do I not? Aha! Stupid diorite. I, ugh. Get out of there. All right. So anyway, uh, the idea is that the people of the keep came down here and they kind of carved out this area, right? They carved out the space they needed. We may make the roof a little bit cave-like uh, if we can. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, and then they added these structural supports to make sure that the cave uh, that they carved out, this area that they carved out, doesn't collapse. So we've got these nice strong archways supporting everything. And what's going to be really cool about this is that we'll be able to essentially kind of work our chests in here, section them off, and still have this kind of build that actually looks pretty cool and kind of fits very strongly within the castle theme, which I think is going to be really good. So you can see we've got uh, another section in like this, right? You see how that works? Also, these right here are slabs, not full blocks, because full blocks, you can't place stuff on top of... Where did that other... Did it fly all the way over there? No, it flew over here. <laughs> and how it flew... Ah, stop evading me, slab. Stupid thing. But if you put them right here on the lower half of the block... The chests can still open. See? Uh, which is awesome. Uh, I don't believe that actually works in all versions of Minecraft. It's a little weird. Like, uh, it used to not work, and then it did work, and then it stopped working again, and then I, I don't know. But it works now. <laughs> so this is what we're going to go with, because uh, it I think it's the best looking option uh, as far as putting some sort of a transparent block, you, you can't even tell that the slab is there, which is good. Uh, I think that really helps. Uh, let's grab these chests right here. So yesterday, if you missed it, there was a... I don't want to call it a Hermitcraft episode, because it really wasn't a full episode. It was more of like a... Like a Hermitcraft short, <laughs> if you will. Like a short little video um, that came out yesterday afternoon uh, about the revolution that is coming to Hermitcraft, and uh, there were a couple people who also put out revolution videos, namely Iskull and Rendog. Uh, their videos were not actually related to mine specifically. I just saw theirs 
and kind of got the idea. Um, but I had some questions about that video uh, because in that video, I was actually singing uh, a song from Les Mis, which is a, a, a Broadway musical, if you're not familiar with it, Les Miserables, or, or something like that. I'm, my French is terrible, don't make fun of me, but Les Mis, we always called it Les Mis in the States. And, and here, uh, we actually performed Les Mis when I was a freshman in high school, sophomore in high school. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> a long time ago, many years ago. But uh, it is one of my favorite musicals. I, I truly love it. Uh, it's amazing. And it has some absolutely gorgeous music. It, it's kind of uh, in the French time period about the... Uh, I forget the name of the rebellion off the top of my head, but it was a, a rebellion against the French nobility uh, for oppressive taxes and uh, all that kind of horrible stuff that the French nobility did. Uh, back long, long ago. Let's take a little bit of a sleep. But I had some questions about that video that I wanted to answer real quick. Yes, first of all, that was actually me singing. And that was me singing all of the parts. I basically just recorded multiple tracks and then overlaid them on top of each other. I didn't use any special audio effects other than what I just use for my normal videos, like, you know, background noise removal and stuff like that. Um, no, like, auto-tune or no chorus effect or anything silly like that that would make me sound a million times better of a singer than I actually am. Um, but that was actually me singing, and I, I actually have a, a very long history with singing, believe it or not. I grew up, uh, my mother was a choir director, and I pretty much grew up in the choir. So I have been in choir and, and vocal music and performance in some form or another since I was like in kindergarten <laughs> or something like that a really long time let's just put it that way basically my entire life uh, or at least all of my life that I can remember I need some sticks uh, actually I need more sticks than that let's go boop there we go and a slab and we're gonna go make ourselves an armor stand beautiful toss that here and then I think I want stair and I'd actually like a chiseled stone I think yeah 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 good 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 and then here we'll take I want to make sure I don't put anything in here that has like um curse of binding or something on it because that would be very unfortunate that has curse of binding that's not good hmm I mean then again it wouldn't be that big of a deal I'll just have to remember that the armor is decorative. Maybe, in fact, now that I'm thinking about this, maybe what we could do is we can trick someone coming in to steal my stuff. Maybe we can trick them into accidentally taking this armor and then being stuck with it forever. Because, like, this one has two curses on it. That's even worse than just the one. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I, I grew up in the choir, essentially. I've been in... Uh, music performance in some some form or another. I've sung everything from uh, vocal jazz to choral music to uh, rock to you name it. I, I've done all sorts of different vocal performance type stuff over the course of my life, and it is something that I truly enjoy and that I'm actually very passionate about. Um, so I saw the opportunity to work a song into a video, and I took it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It seemed like the vast majority of you did. There was there was a large number of different types of comments on that video. A good number of them were, holy cow, Wells, I didn't know you had a musical bone in your body. Uh, but then there were also some that were like, I love Les Mis. There were some that were, you know, of course, your, your typical down with the NHO. There was a number of mumbo, bumbo, you know, that whole thing going on. Um, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad you guys really enjoyed that video. Um, also, while I'm on the subject of answering questions in the comments from previous videos, the Cactus Farm, okay? The Cactus Farm. There were a lot of people who said, Wells Knight, you're an idiot. You don't need to take the water uh, slide thing. You don't need to take that and lower it by eight blocks. You could just use slabs 
and water streams. The problem with that, though, is that all the cactuses are foddering, uh, is are falling into that water stream. And if I put slabs in there, there's a chance that some of the cactus will land on top of the slab and not make it into the water stream. So not really the best option for the cactus farm. That was something that I had considered and decided against it. I decided to do it my way instead. But we are making some serious progress on the storage room for sure. I do need to figure out how I'm going to divide stuff up, how I'm going to label stuff, um, how I'm going to... Uh, I, if I'm going to have a sorting system, I don't, I really don't think I'm going to, not for this storage room. There's certain things that I'd like to sort, like, uh, cobble, you know, the things that I'm going to get tons and tons and tons of. I wouldn't mind having, like, uh, like a specialized sorter for those. Kind of like how, uh, I think it was Iskal last year had, like, his deep storage units where he had, uh, a, a special thing that held like four chests of cobble and four chests of... Uh, I wouldn't mind having something like that for specific items, but for the most part, I don't think I'm going to have uh, any sort of sorting. I'm, uh, I'm just going to do it manually. I am going to put item frames on all of the chests like I normally do. Yes, that will cause... Uh, item frames are capable of causing some lag in mass quantities, but not nearly as much as massive quantities of hoppers. Uh, or crazy massive redstone contraptions and things like that. And given that I'm not really going to have uh, a lot of redstone around my base, and that's putting it mildly because, as you guys know, redstone is not my speciality, um, I'm okay if I contribute a tiny amount of lag from a bunch of item frames to the server. I'm okay with that. It's not going to be enough... Uh, Let's just say that my lag contribution will be dwarfed <laughs> by certain other members of the store uh, of the server who are a lot more technically minded than I am. Let's just put it that way. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. I, and, and we all had item frames all over the place. Uh, and it's, that's not the cause of lag. The big cause of lag is just hoppers upon hoppers upon hoppers, you know, massive 128 block hopper chains that, yeah. Now, if there were a sorting system where there was a hopper behind every single one of these chests, that might be a little bit of a different story, but I'm not concerned about just putting a couple item frames down here and there. Shouldn't be a big deal. But I think what I'm going to do between episodes is get a lot of the items moved in, and that is absolutely going to take me some time to sort everything out, figure out where I want stuff, get all the item frames made and put in place, and blah, blah, blah. All that super fun, grindy stuff that you guys don't want to see on camera. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode right here, my friends. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.